वेलकम टू यू पी एस सी आई एम पी करंट अफेयर्स रिलेवेंट स्टैटिक्स टॉपिक ट्वेल्व न्यू टॉपिक डूरिंग द इयर थर्टीन थर्टी थ्री मोहम्मद बिन तुगलक कमांडेड द कराची एक्सपीडिशन टू द कुलू कंगरा रिजन ऑफ द प्रेजेंट डे हिमाचल प्रदेश इन इंडिया अकॉर्डिंग टू हिस्टोरिकल अकाउंट्स फ्रॉम बुदुनी एंड फिरिस्ता Tughlaq initial plan was across the Himalayan and launched on attack on China. Despite his intention, Muhammad bin Tughlaq encountered opposition from the locals in Himachal. The army of Tughlaq, which was not accompanied to fighting in the hills, was defeated by Prithvi Chand II of the Kutch clan, a Hindu Rajput kingdom of Kangra. As a result, almost all the Tughlaq troops, which in number around 1 lakh were killed and compelled to withdraw next new topic vedic literature uh, six vedangas limbs of vedas were uh, evolved for the proper understanding of the vedas these are shiksha manje phonetics kalpa rituals vyakran grammar nirguta etymology chanda matrix ज्योतिष एस्ट्रोनॉमी इच वेदांग हैज डेवलप क्रेडिबल लिटरेचर अराउंड इट विच आर इन द सूत्र फॉर्म दैट इज अ परसेप दिस इज वेरी प्रिसाइज एंड एक्जैक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन इन द क्रोज विच वॉज डेवलप बाय द एशियन इंडियंस पानी ने अष्टध्याय बुक्स ऑन अ ग्रामर इन एट चैप्टर इन द फाइनल क्लुमिनेशन ऑफ दिस एक्सलंट आर्ट ऑफ राइटिंग इन द सूत्र परसेप that is perceive uh, in which uh, every chapter is uh, precisely interwoven besides the vedas uh, brahmanas the aryan uh, aryanakas and uh, the upanishadakas aranyakas and upanishadakas are also included in the vedic literature and are known as the later vedic literature panini's ashtadeh panini's ashtadeh book on grammar next new topic uh, smriti has play a very important role in the hindu life during the last 2000 years this smritis define the religious duties usages laws and social customs in general the smritis may be regarded as expanded and contemporary visions of the dharma sutras which cover the periods from about 6th century to the 3rd century before common era the works on the smritis follow almost immediately afterward and continue for almost 800 years or even more the man manav dharma shastras or manusmriti is not only the oldest work of this class but also most well known and has its hold even today all over india <clears throat> this was a composed in about the first century before common era some other important smritis are narada smritis vishnu smriti yajan valyakya smritis prishpati smriti smritis katakaya na smritis they are all uh, very important source of the law and social customs of contemporary society these smritis were declared to be a divine origins the most outstanding work in the field of the grammar mahabhashya written by patanjali in the second century before common era is a contemporary on the panini's ashtadhyayi after the patanjali the center of the sanskrit grammar learning shifted to the deccan where Karnataka school flourished the first century AD Mahabhashya written by Patanjali hmm. Sir Sarvava Varman scholar of the great repute in the court of the Satvahana's king Hala composed the grammar of the Kan Kantara this work was a short and a handy which helped the learn of the Sanskrit is about 6 month Kantara Hala wrote a great political work of the Gatha Saptarishi in Prakritik an important literary figure of the period of Ashvaghosha he was not only a play writer poet but also a great buddhist philosopher Hala la wrote a great political work of Gatha Gatha Saptarishi in Prakritik Gatha Saptarishi in Prakritik Hala he wrote Sundar Nanda Buddha Charitra Vajra Suchi and a number of other buddha charitras is complete of life of buddhas written in the form of mahakavya next new topic 
the intergovernmental panel uh, panel on climate change published synthesis uh, synthesis report on march 22 and 23 summarizing the finding of the reports released during the six assessment cycle the 1.5 degree celsius report of 2018 the special report on the land and occupation of 2019 the three assessment uh, report published between 2021 and 2022 The synthesis report is presented in the wake of the major global upheavals brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the subsequent global energy crisis. Key finding of the report: the sea surface temperature over the Indian Ocean is likely to be increased by one degree Celsius to two degree Celsius, where there is one point five degree Celsius to two degree Celsius global warming. In the report, scientists show that the Western Indian Ocean region experienced the largest increase in the marine heat waves at the rate of the about 1.5 events per decade followed by the north bay of bengal at the rate of the 0.5 events per decade the western indian ocean experienced 66 event while bay of bengal had 94 events over the last four decades between 1982 and 2018 temperature breaching uh, the 1.5 degree celsius threshold average temperature have already touched 1.1 degree celsius about 1.07 degree celsius was contributed by the human activities above pre industrial time by 2013 there is a 50% chance that a global surface temperature in any single year could exceed 1.5 degree celsius the world is still not doing enough to limit the global temperature from reaching the 1.5 degree celsius threshold despite there is being multiple feasibility and effective option to do so or shooting 1.5 degree celsius will result in irreversible adverse impact on certain ecosystem with low resilience such as a polar mountain coastal ecosystem etc to keep within the 1.5 degree celsius limit emission need to be reduced by at least 43% by 2013 compared to 2019 level and at least 16% by 2035 this is the decisive decades to make that happen next new topic the style of the temple architecture that become a popular in northern india is known as, known as nagara in northern india it is a common uh, for entire temple to be built as a stone platform with a step leading to uh, up to it further unlike in south india it does not usually have a elaborate boundary walls or gateways while the earliest temple had just one tower or shikaras and later temple added several the garbhagriha is al- always located directly under the tallest tower Unlike a Nagara temple, Dravida temple is enclosed with the compound wall. The front wall has the entrance gateway in its center, which is known as a Gopuram. The shape of the main temple tower is known as a Vimana in Tamil Nadu. It is like a step pyramid that rises up geometrically rather than curving shikaras of North India. In the South Indian temple, the word shikara is used only for the crown crowning element at the top of the temple, which is usually shaped like a small stupika or a octagonal cupola this is equivalent to the amalak or a kalash kalash of north indian temples uh, whereas at the entrance to the north indian temples garb uh, garbagiraha it would be usually f- to find an image such as a mithunas and river goddess ganga and yamuna it in the south you will uh, generally find a sculpture of the firens dwarpalas or uh, door keepers guarding the temples it is a uh, common to find a large water uh, reservoir or a temple tank enclosed within the complex subsidiary shrines are either incorporated within the main temple tower or located as a distinct uh, serpent small shrines besides the main temple the northern indian ideas of the multiple shikaras rising together as a cluster was not popular in the south india next new topic uh, bhava bhavavi is the traditional theater from gujarat the center of this uh, form of kach and kathiwar the instrument used in bhavai are uh, bungal tabla flute pakwaj rabaz sarangi manjiri manjira etc in the bhava uh, bhavai there is a rare synthesis of the devotional and romantic sentiments next new topic gujjara pratihara was a dynasty that ruled much uh, northern india from the mid 8 to 8 to 11th century they ruled first at ujjain and later at kannauj the power of the gujjara pratihara dynasty was weakened by the dynasty's chief it was further diminished as a result of the great 
raid led by the Rashtrakuta's ruler Indra III, who in about uh, 916 sacked Kannauj. Under the succession of rather obscure ruler, the dynasty never regained its former influence. Pratyaharas break into a number of Rajput states. Uh, these are uh, Gandhavalas or of Kannauj, which was a Rajput dynasty that ruled parts of the present day Uttar Pradesh and Bihar during the 11th and 12th century. Their capital was located at Banaras in Gangatic Plains and for a brief period they also uh, controlled Kannauj. The Parmar, Parmar was a Rajput dynasty that ruled the Malwa region between 9th and 14th century. Chauhans of Delhi and Ajmer were Rajput dynasty also known as the Chahamanas of the Shakambari, who rule over the part of the modern day Rajasthan and neighboring areas. Kalachuru dynasty ruled between the 10th to 12th century. Chandelas of the Jeja Kabukti was a Rajput dynasty in central India. The Chandelas rules much of the Bundelkhand region, then called Jeja Kabukti, between the 9th and 13th century. They belong to the Chandelas clan of the Rajput. Next new topic. During the Mughal period, the term of Muzirians were uh, was used to describe the tenants who uh, generally paid and revenue at higher rates. These two groups were uh, the large section among the collectivators in the village. The patients who owned the land they till were called Kudkash. Khud they paid land revenue at customary rates. Some of them had many plugs and blocks which they let out to their poor brethren tenants or Muzarians. That is, the landless patients and uh, laborers often belong to the class of the people called Kamin. Uh, whenever there was a famine and famines were frequent, it was this class of the patients and the village artisan who suffered the most. Next new topic, Rashtrakut dynasty, Hindu royal family that governed the, Dek the Deccan region and adjacent territories of India held a power between approximately 755 and 975 common era. The kingdom was founded by Dante Durga who fixed his capital of Maniya Kheta or Malkhed near the modern Sholapur. Rashtrakut dynasty founder Dante Durga. Greatest Rashtrakut ruler uh, were Govind III 793 to 840 and Amogavarsha 840 to 878. Amogavarsha ruled for 68 years. He was a great builder and built uh, the capital of the capital city of Maniya Kheta so as to excel in the city of the Indra. Al Mosudi paid a visit to India during the periods of 1940 to 1928, common area when Indra III was in power and ruled over the Rashtrakut's empire. According to Al Musudi, the Rashtrakut being king of Vallahara or Vallabharaja was the greatest king of the India. Most of the Indian rulers accepted his suzerainty and respected his envoy. Al Musudi, Indra III, Rashtrakut Empire. Kailas Rock Cut Temple uh, was constructed between 756 and 773 AD by the Rashtrakut king Krishna I, who ruled during the 8th century. The Rino, uh, temple is located at Ellora. Kailas Rock Cut Temple Krishna I, Rashtrakut king. Next new topic. Maurya period constituted a landmark in the system of the taxes in the ancient India. The Kautilya's name uh, many ta uh, taxes to be collected from patients, artists, and traders. This required a strong and efficient machinery for assessment, collection, and storage. Maurya attested a greater importance to assessment than to storage and depositing. The Samharta was the highest officer in the charge of the assessment, and Sanyadhata was the chief custodian of the state treasury and storehouses. Samharta was the highest officer in charge of assessment and Sanni Dhata was the chief custodian of the state treasury and storehouses in Mauryan period. The harm done to the study by the first is thought to be more serious than the harms 
caused by the circuit. In fact, an elaborate machinery for the assessment first appeared in the modern period. The list of the tax mentioned in the Arthashastra is impressive and if this were really collective, very little would be left to the people to live on. Next new topic. Akbar divided the empire into 12 provinces called Subhas in 1580. These were Bengal, Bihar, Alabad, Awan, Agra, Delhi, Lahore, Multan, Kabul, Ajmer, Malwa, and Gujarat. A governor that is Subedar, Adiwan, Bakshi, Sadar, Kazi, and Wakanavis were appointed to each of these provinces. Thus, an orderly government based on the principle of the checks and balance was extended to the provinces. The Wakanavis were the news reporter posted to all parts of the empire. Their reports were presented to the empire at the courts through their Mirabakshi. Wakanavis news reporter. The provinces were divided into sarkars, which were further divided into Parganas. The chief officer of the sarkar were the Fozidar and Amal Guzar, the former being in charge of the law and order, and the latter responsible for assessment and collection of the land revenue. Thus, Alam Guzar was one of the principal officials at the Sarkar level and not the provincial level. Amal Guzar was one of the principal officials at the Sarkar level, not the provincial level. Amal Guzar was required to be exercised general supervision over all the types of the land holding so that the imperial rules and regulations for the assessment and collection of the land revenue were followed uniformly. Fosdar was responsible for maintaining law and order in, in, Sarkar, in Sarkar or districts. The Fosdar were usually in charge of the maintenance of law and order in his jurisdiction and executed the royal decrees and regulations. He also kept powerful zamindar under check. Next new topic Gol uh, Gumabad. Gol Gumabad. It is situated in Bijapur, uh, in the Bijapur district of Karnataka. It, uh, it is the mausoleum of Muhammad Adil mausoleum of the Muhammad Adil Shah. 1626 to 1656, the 7th Sultan of the Adil Shahi dynasty of Bijapur, 1489 to 1686, built by the uh, ruler himself. It is a striking edifice in the spite of the being unfinished. The tomb is a complex of the buildings such as the gateway, Nakarkhana, a mosque, and a sarai located within the large wall garden. The Gumbabad is a monumental square. Uh, building top with a circular drum over which rest of the majestic dome giving the building its nomenclature it has an outer wall which is a square in the shape it is built on dark grey basalt and decorated plaster work each wall of the tomb is one of the 135 feet long and 110 feet high and 10 feet thick with the drum and dome the building rises to a height of over 200 feet Tom has only one square chamber and dome with diameter of 125 feet. The tomb covers an uh, uninterrupted floor space of 18,337 square feet, the largest in the world. The tomb covers uninterrupted floor space, 18,337 square feet, largest in the world. Next new topic. Microsoft Research India is creating a tools to help preserve the fast disappearing languages to bring a rare indian languages online microsoft launches a project elora enabling that is enabling low resource language in 2015 under this project researchers are building a digital resources of the language elora microsoft enabling low resource language the purpose is to Preserve the language for prosperity so that the users of these languages can participate and interact in the digital world. The researchers are uh, mapping out resources including print, printed literature to create a data set to train their artificial intelligence model. The team is also working with these communities and on the project by evolving the community in the data collection process. Researchers hope to create a data set that is both accurate and culturally relevant. It includes rare languages like Gondi, Mundari, Idu, Mishmi, etc., Marathi, Telugu, Bengali, Malayalam, etc., are popular language in India. Next new topic 
द मार्च ऑफ द मगधन एम्पायर ड्यूरिंग द टू सेंचुरी प्रिसीडिंग द राइज ऑफ द मोरियंस इज लाइक द मार्च ऑफ द इराियन एम्पायर ड्यूरिंग द सेम पीरियड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट स्टेट इन इंडिया ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड वॉज वर्क ऑफ द सेवल एंटरप्राइजेस एंड एम्बिशियस रूलर सच एज बिंबिसारा अजात शत्रु महापद्म नंदा दे एम्प्लॉय ऑल मीन्स फॉर एंड फुल एट देअर डिस्पोजल टू अ लार्ज देअर किंगडम्स एंड टू स्ट्रेंथन देअर स्टेट्स बट दिस वॉज नॉट द ओनली रीजन फॉर द एक्सपांशन ऑफ द मगधा Magadha enjoyed an advantageous geographical position in the age of the iron because the richest iron deposits were situated not far away from Rajagir the earliest capital of Magadha the ready availability of the rich iron ores in the neighborhoods enables the magadhan princes to equip themselves with effective weapons which were not easily available in their rivals Magadha enjoyed certain other advantages two capitals of the magadha the first of Rajagir and second at patliputra uh, where situated at a very strategic point rajgir was surrounded by the group of five hills and it was rendered to impenetrable in those days magadha lay at the center of the middle gangetic plain the alluvials once a clear of the jungles proved imms immensely fertile magadha enjoyed special advantage in military organization although the indian state were well acquainted with the use of the horses and chariots it was magadha that first used the elephant on a large scale in its war against the, its neighbors the eastern parts of the country would supply a elephant to the princes of the magadha and and we learn from the greek sources that nandas maintained 6000 elephant an orthodox character of the magadha society it was in habited by the kirtas and magadhas who were held in the low esteems by the orthodox brahmanas but it did underwent a happy racial admixtures on the account of the advent of the vedic people since it was recently aryanis it showed that, uh, showed more uh, initiations for expansion that the kingdom which had been brought under the vedic influence earlier on the account of all these reasons of the magadha succeeds in the defending the other kingdoms and in founding the first empire in india next new topic arabic ar uh, arabesque is the form of artistic decoration consist of the surface decoration based on the rhythmic linear patterns of scrolling and interlacing foliage tendrils or a plain lines often combined with other elements it was extensively used in indo islamic architecture arabesque is the form of artistic decoration consist of surface decoration based on the rhythmic linear patterns of the scrolling and interplay interplacing interlacing of the foliage tendrils or plain lines often combined with the other elements arabesque in a french term derived from the italian words arabesco meaning arabic style the design can be till or repeated seamlessly to create the endless patterns in the eyes of the viewers the arabesque made in the west west are based on the either ancient roman or remains or derived from the islamic art the pattern are used to mostly decorate architecture and seem to disappear under the framing age without an ending next new topic tallest figure in the sphere of the epic poetry in is kalidasa between 380 and 382 ad 415 he wrote two great epics of kumara sambhava the birth of the kumar and rag raghu vamsa the dynasty of the ragus kalidasas kumara sambhava the birth of kumar and raghu vamsa dynasty of the ragus in the kavya tradition more care is based on on the form such as the style figure of speech poems description etc and the story the theme is pushed to the background the overall purpose of such a poem is to be bring about efficacy of the religious and cultural way of life without floating and ethical norms all the distinguished poets like bhairavi 515 ad wrote the kirtan juniyam kirat and arjun and magadha sorry magha 65 to 17 ad wrote uh, shishupala vadhamam the killing of the shishupala bhairavi wrote kirtarjuniyam kirt and arjun 
Magha root Sushupal Vodam, the killing of Sushupal. There are several other poets like Sri Harsha and Bhatti who are greatest great merit. The main purpose of the Kavya or even Natakas or drama that is drama is to be offer the readers of spectacular diversion to or entertainment local Lokaranjana and also stimulate this feeling and ultimately given him a perspective to illuminate his vision of life. Drama is therefore stylish and packed with the poetry and descriptive prose. It moves on leaves of the world worldliness as well as another levels of the other worldliness. The rulers and prescription regarding the performance, the theatre hall, acting gestures, ras and stages directions are all given in the first book of the dramaturgy Natya Shastra by Bharata, 1st century, before coming in the 1st century AD. Kalidasa is the most distinguished dramatic and his treatment of this ras of love in all its possible manifestation in the three plays of Malvik, Malvika Ani Mitram, Malvika and Agni Mitra. Vikrama Vikramo Vaisayam Vikrama Ani Urvashi and Abhigyana Shakuntalam or Abhigyana Shakuntalam, the recognizing of the Shakuntala is unparalleled. He is the poet of love and beauty and believes in the affirmation of life, joy of which lies in pure, scare and ever wide meaning life. Thank you so much.